brawl and you know he's coming from a clan arena background and started getting dueling and quick live and stuff so this is his first big you know event that he's really trying to get into and uh, he's up against a good opponent but i have a feeling pit might punish that ping a little bit this time you know i think the australian running into some of these top players we'll see how he handles the ping here yeah we'll have to see how that goes of course that's always going to be a big issue for him but starting it right off pit just dominates astro boy right from the start launches him into the air with the rocket and the quick switch over to the rail giving him no chance at all no chance to think no chance to recover and in that circumstance no chance to survive yeah, just great, great combo. I mean, that's just a classic combo. Look at this. Pit's going to continue that, too, as he continues the very fast and aggressive clutch play. We saw that in the set earlier versus Carnage. He's going to be continuing that here now. He tries to push in, wanted to try and take down Astro Boy right from the start of his spawn. Unfortunately, just didn't really have the health to do that. He did run himself a little bit short from the previous fight, too, and he's just barely alive. In fact, he does actually get taken down. The very last second, the trade will come in, bringing it back down to a 2v2. Yeah, nice uh, rail there by by Astro Boy, a little bit, a little bit of the delay because of the ping, and uh, you know, Pip was a little shot he got hit, but you know that the shot was fired, man. Yeah, the uh, the light conversation, of course, you can see here on the uh, the railgun as well. So or the uh, LG is definitely going to be showing up a little bit, of course, as it works out and helps Astro Boy recover a little bit, but ultimately he still goes down to Pip there, time. losing himself under those circumstances, and Astro Boy now ends up on his final champion for this round. He's going to be on the Anarchy. Yeah, I think if Pitt stays aggressive here, it should really favor him overall. I, I think just keep the pressure on the guy with the high ping, force him to continuously make, you know, good shots and things like that. And don't look, don't let him get in this uh, prediction game because it'll benefit him to kind of peak rail you or peak rocket you, and then going for the sure thing kind of kill. You know, force him to actually engage. Pitt continuing to look for that opportunity he needs to lock down on Astro Boy. Gets it now. Unfortunately, the Rockets just not connecting in the way that he would like. Astro Boy does hit a rail shot, keeping Pitt's health pull in a pretty manageable position. He's only got 25 armor. It still has the full 100 HP on the Ranger, of course, but Astro Boy is in a very similar position, so this makes it a very even matchup. Astro Boy is probably going to look want to look for a little bit more, however, considering uh, the issues dealing with and having to work with his ping and all that. So he's probably going to want to make sure he has his opponent in a really good spot before he that was a big miss of the Dire Orb there by Pitt. Uh, that could cost him a little bit here, but I mean, he's playing really solid. It may not, but just it's just one of those things that, you know, you want back when you see it happen to your speed. Yeah, so I would imagine he's a little frustrated with, with that Dire Orb miss. I'm trying to time some of those rocket shots too. But not a big connection against Astro Boy there. He does get away from that one pretty much scot-free and Pitt again attempting to hit the rails, but Gonna be able to lock down the location. And he does move away from the armor now, so he's gonna give that right over to Astro Boy. He picks that up again, so he's still fully stacked up here. He's got both the health and armor pickups right now. Yeah, but given he's on Anarchy, one of those things to note is that the base stack of Ranger is essentially the overstack for Anarchy. So even though he has both items, they're pretty much even Steven right now. Yeah, it's just keeping him at a point where he can still fight out in an open battle versus him. He did actually just kind of waste his last rocket there, so now he does have to leap back up on top to try and look to recover that. Uh, but unfortunately for Astro Boy, his opponent is controlling that entire area of the map. Not for too long, though. However, it is looking like he wanted to chase down Pit and actually start a fight with no rocket ammo at all. I think he's feeling the time a little bit. I know, I know he doesn't want to let it get too far much further. He's got 90 seconds here to try to get a tying frag. So, I mean, he, he knows Pit has, has health. So that's the other thing, too. Oh, this is just, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, that, that's smart by Pit. He knew his opponent had to push. Astro Boy knew he had to push. Some good rocket placement, you know, force him to come through a doorway. It's a wrap. And ultimately, by getting that, that aggressive, unfortunately, uh, for Astro Boy, he does just push himself into a corner, giving pit control over the first round there. I mean, yeah, you could argue maybe he could have waited 15 seconds longer, but in the end, he had to make a play, and, you know, pit, to his credit, made him pay for it. Great LG work starting off at the beginning here. Unfortunately, hitting pit quite a bit. Thankfully, he was able to recover pretty quickly, and now he's just sitting back, remaining quiet. As he waits to see what Astro Boy's next move is going to be. He did spot him out in the open there, just to the left of the Mega Health pickup. So he should have a general idea of where he's playing from. Now he has to be able to move in, get the position of pounce on top of him. He has the health advantage, so if he can get him into just an open fight, unless Pit royally messes up, there's no reason why he shouldn't win the battle. Astro Boy has to look for a stealth engagement here to be able to really take a huge advantage over Pit and have any chance of winning that fight. It's going to be really hard for him, especially if Pit has a shield up, because the shield, as we've seen, does see, you know, the Nyx when she goes into her ghost walk. So um, it's easy for Pit to really track down, and the difference in stack is just it's so, so hard to overcome. 
keep him swinging around nice and done. Dodges out of the way. The shield pops off as well. It's going to let him close the gap and continue to fight close range with the shotgun too. Massive damage being done. Astro Boy barely surviving. It's sub 25 HP, but a huge mistake from Pit. He leaps on top of his stealthed opponent. And as the touch, Astro Boy is going to get a free kill because he shows right back up. And now he gets another one too. He immediately follows it up with a second kill. Mistakes in this game can quickly snowball. I was a little surprised Pit jumped right on top of that um, like he did. I thought he was going to jump slightly offline and like leave a rocket up there, but I mean, he went for it. Well, finally, at the very least, Pit's going to be able to trade out one kill. He's still got two more to go now, however. He's been put into a pretty big disadvantage after mistakes he made before. Given he got that frag back relatively quickly, he's not in, in too bad a shape here, just being down one with, you know, he's got three minutes to go, so um, plenty, plenty, of, plenty of match left right now. So he, he's not in a bad shape. And for those of you out there that are trying to figure out how exactly that first kill happened, there's a mechanic involved in the Nyx's stealth ability to where if you're standing directly on top of an enemy, when you reappear, you'll instantly kill them and take them out. It's really hard to do, but in situations like that where an opponent makes a mistake and walks right into where the Nyx is standing, it can potentially allow for a free kill to happen, as we saw just there. Yeah, Astro Boy's gonna recognize that he used the defensive Ghost Walk here. Yeah, good defensive rockets there. Astro Boy definitely wanted to get aggressive, um, recognize the Ghost Walk was down, and uh, Pit just lined him up some good rockets to make him change his mind. Rail battle gonna be starting off here. This is not advisable for Pit in the open, but thankfully, both of them are gonna be two shotable here. Pit will get hit first though, so he is forced to back away. But he's not gonna be given a whole lot of room to recover here. Hopefully he has good positioning, he's able to wrap back around. His opponent is gonna jump back on the top, stealing the armor away, preventing Pit from stealing that from him. He's got the stealth back up too. So Pit can be a little bit more aggressive now, but he still has to move around to recover some of his health and armor before he can really start looking to do that. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. He's gonna be really careful here, trying to get any light armor and health he can. He's got his ghost walk up though, so that is a bit of a saving grace for him. Um, you know, he could, this could turn on a dime for Astro Boy. One good Ghost Walk engagement can really destroy his stack. Pit spent a second there switching around weapons, so it actually cost him quite a bit in that fight. He's not really going to be able to pursue a more aggressive option against his opponent right now. Still way too low. Finally got the rocket ammo back going for him there, too, as he was sitting with zero rockets for a good 30, 40 seconds, I think, almost. So now he's able to finally pick that back up, and he can run back around and recover all of his health. So with 90 seconds down one, um, he probably wants, definitely wants these hourglasses. He's going to need that ghost walk again. And like, like I said, he's just one good ambush away from really uh, tying this thing up. Hit. Still trying to take another close up fight here. Once again, finds himself on the losing end of it initially, but returns some great damage on the rail just as he reappeared. He's looking for another one too as his opponent peeks. Good thing that he dodged it, and there you go. There's another shot. He doesn't have to dead just yet because of the full armor pickup that Astro Boy was able to get for himself. At the very least, Pit now is able to move in, steals the mega health. He's got that, and he can continue this fight. He thinks he has a load up. Another rail for Pit connecting here too. He's got Astro Boy on the run now. He's just got to take him down so that he can tie this up into a 1v1. Oh my goodness, this is just, wow. Some clutch rails uh, from Pit. It looks like Astro Boy tried to fake him with the Dire Orb, but I think at the end there he wished he took the Dire Orb. Uh, wow, great aggression from Pit. Tie, tie game right now, 30 seconds to go. Woo. Oh, and man. there we go, Pit with great recovery, was all the way down into a 1v3, managed to bring it back down, prevented ending the round via the timer there, and then in the final 1v1, a little bit anticlimactic, of course, just wins out versus him with a straight up LG spam, so. Good turnaround by Pit. You know, you gotta, I always give, I love to give players credit for when they come, when they're down like that, you know, especially in a game like this where, you know, you only get those three frags. So when you're down to your final death, that's, that's a lot of pressure and for him to come back like that and, you know, good job by Pitt. He's, he's showing a lot of, a lot of promise here today. Astro Boy, tiny down below here, was able to get a little bit of damage going himself due to the early rail pick up there. Tagged once in a pit, unfortunately doesn't mean much at the end of the day. Pit's on that clutch again, so he has a whole lot of health that he can melt away from himself. A lot of having to worry too much about it. And yeah, just being careful. He wants he wants the rocket launcher, but he doesn't want to take damage for it. One of the, we've seen it many times, one of the big things about clutch is you want that rocket launcher so you can pop the shield and get in somebody's face. For Astro Boy specifically, he is going to be Forced to fall back a little bit due to the aggression coming in for Pit now. He's returning this damage, and he's got Pit relatively low, but he just got those two health bubbles right there as well. So Pit's still going to be back in a much better position than his opponent. The missed rail shot might seal the deal for him, but no, Pit just unable to return this damage for some reason. So Astro Boy is going to survive with only, well, now 50 HP, but before only at 29. Yeah, it just it didn't have a rail gun right there, so I think he's, oh yeah, he's going to, oh, he missed it. I'm surprised he didn't go back for it. 
because he could really use one right now. And Astro Boy himself is just controlling all these power ups. So he's actually got good health to take this next engagement with, trying to trace down his opponent here off of the LG. It's a quick switch attempt back over to the rail, but that one missed, went right near the shield. So Pitt was able to survive it. Both both players in this situation are just going to back away. As uh, neither one really came out in a winning uh, winning stance there to try and chase down the first kill. This will continue to be played slowly here. Astro Boy definitely looking for an engagement if he can get one, as he still controls both of the power up pickups. Pit chose not to sit inside of the top room to look for the full armor. Instead, he's just running around the map there, making sure that he gets his stack built up well enough to take the next fight. Yeah, Pit just trying to get that basic, you know, it takes a little while with these tank champions, so. But as usual, I mean, with the Nyx, I mean, just get in good position. She can't take much, man. You get in there with that shield and a rocket launcher. Next rail could win this first initial 1v1 here. They stuck to it. Well, looks like Astro Boy is going to choose to fade away, gets himself onto the armor there, be able to recover that. And the health is still relatively well split, so that's not coming up for another 10 seconds or so. Pit is continuing to just run around the map here, looking for his opponent, but just cannot lock him down. Now maybe the final opportunity, though, at the very least, he should be able to go in and steal the health if he has good tracking on the timing, but no, out into the open again. Not choosing to chase it down, so his opponent does have the ability to go down and take control of that mega health for free if they want. Yeah, Pit really trying to get his you know base armor stack back up, so he's focusing on the lights. It looks like he might, no, he might steal that there. That's a big steal for him. It's a big steal, and he's got the shield back up too, so he's going to be able to easily recover health since the armor's eating most of this damage up right now. But it's still not enough to get him to commit to the fight versus Astro Boy. Just being careful. We've seen it many times. You don't want to get too careless with tanks in open areas, get caught with a nice LG stream or something and really make a mess of you. So he's being careful. He wants at least his 100, 150, it looks like, or 125, whatever. But he's in a much better position now to, to force an engagement. Stepping down to recover a little bit of his rail ammo there, too. He's kind of getting low. So he knows Astro was up there, knows he just got the armor pickup. Nice little fadeaway rail shot. Unfortunately, can't steal the health as it's still very well split up in terms of the timing of it. This is good work, and you know, this is kind of an illustration of, of taking, you know, a, a very patient tack. Look, now Astro Boy's on the run. Look at their stacks. I mean, he, he slowly rebuilt up. He's going to steal this health. There, he... there we go. He's going to jump down. He's going to prevent Astro Boy from going in to pick up the health. He's got to be a little bit careful as he's brought down to 37 HP. was trying to do work with the shotgun range, but just couldn't get it done. So that's a big mistake from Pit, as that should have been an easy kill for him, but didn't end up working out, and Astro Boy's the one that gets it. Now, Pit only has a minute to trade that frag back. Yeah, I think he thought he was a little lower than he really was. I mean, he was pretty low, but I mean, he had the shield up. I'm surprised he just didn't walk right up him with a rocket or or something or force him through that teleporter a little bit. I'm not quite sure what happened with Pit there. It was weird the way they ended up playing it out. Now Astro Boy's going to die back in, getting a lot of LG damage done at the beginning of this fight. I don't even know if Pit's going to want to try to pursue that downstairs now. He might just sit back and wait this one out a little bit. Astro Boy, he's ready to take that fight. If he wants to oblige on him and take it, and there you go, Astro Boy now with a second pickup. Yeah, nothing. I mean, Pitt's forced to kind of move in right now and take an engagement he necessarily didn't want. So, I mean, this looks like we're going to go to uh, round four here. Uh, Astro Boy is closing out right there. He gets the third and final win. kill. And there you have it, two to one. Still remains in the control of Pitt. But now Astro Boy is going to attempt to complete the reverse sweep. Yeah, we've seen him many times in duel. You know, an error here or there, quick frag, and it, it, things turn really quickly in Quake Duel. Um, so yeah, Pitt, Pitt's overall been, you know, getting the better it. Obviously, he's up 2-1, but he needs to close the show right here. And so for Pitt, well, he's just going to leap right into combat this time, too. Beautiful rail shots. He's using the dodge as well that he can do on the clutch. His opponent just barely stealthing away. But look, he's got perfect tracking on it, and there you go. The rocket to finish it off as he takes down Astro Boy's first champion within only the first 25 seconds of the round. Yeah, quick kill. Uh, got a couple, you know, nice rails in there and just pushed in with the shield and rocket. Nothing, nothing Astro Boy could do. I mean, he even tried to run, but I mean, you can see the go for it. Perfectly played from Pit. Exactly that was playing out. Great response from Astro Boy, though. Almost took down Pit. He survived that with just 5 HP. Covered a little bit of it now. Had to wait for his opponent to run away before he could really move in and try to take the rest of these health globes in the room, though. And he's even using the blood pool to get some of that health back, too. So just using the environment to his advantage here. Still has to run around and look for more armor pickups. He's kind of low in that regard. But the yeah. power-ups are coming in in about 10 seconds, so he should have that opportunity. His armor stack's, you know, half as normal. If he gets this mega health, he'd be in pretty good shape here. Nice speed. 
leaps right across it. He is going to give away the armor, but he's got that extra health, and that's really what I think he wanted to stop Astro Boy from picking up, as that's what would give Astro Boy a pretty big advantage over him. He can get quite a decent stack of armor just on his own natural amount. So I don't think he was too worried about the full armor kit pickup. Yeah, pick just again, just, you know, get that stack up. Oh, man, nice. Nice little rail there from Astro Boy. But again, you know, with the clutch, you always got to be worried with the clutch running around if you're Astro Boy. Just any time, wrong situation. Oh, nice. Just shield up just like this. It's good steal, though. Good steal. Pit just nonchalantly walking up to the top as well, just as his opponent was about to die for a bit. And then he even puts the shield in front of him, too, so that Astro Boy can't really retaliate too much to the fact that uh, he went and installed that from him. So very well played from Pit. He did lose most of the armor almost instantly from the play, but at the very least, he keeps it out of the hands of Astro Boy. And continues to waste time, too, since he has that advantage. Yeah, definitely time on his side. Still plenty of time to go, though. He doesn't want to get too... You know, he, he's got to be thinking about getting back control so he can be, you know, run out the clock easy. It's much better to run out the clock when you're in control and they're on the defensive and they have to push into you with a full stack. So um, he's got to be really careful right now. 150 is not much when you're on a clutch, let me tell you. Just over the halfway point on the timer for the round. And Pitt continues to hold a plus one advantage over his opponent, Astro Boy, hailing from Australia. Pitt. He's missed it completely, so Astro Boy's actually just going to be able to walk right into the room. The Dyer report right up into Pitt's face, too, but the shield is enough to push Astro Boy back. And Pitt's going to take a huge risk here by going for that armor pickup, and in fact, it is going to seal the deal, allowing for Astro Boy to finally get that trade. Yeah, putting yourself on the open with, with Clutch, Sorlag, all the scale bearer. They, they really are lightning gun bait, and uh, yeah, a little miscalculation there. I think he just wanted to get that armor a little too much. So now it's gone down even again. And this turns into a Ranger v. Ranger fight. Potentially to decide who can take a big enough advantage to win this round. And in Pitt's case, win the map too. Coming at you. Right now, both just trying to get their stacks going. Fortunately for Astro Boy again, though, Pitt is still playing extremely passive. So he was sitting back over towards the armor room and he just let Astro Boy walk up taking not only the, uh, the armor, but the mega health too. Yeah, I think Astro Boy, I'd like to see the stats in regards to item pickups right now. I think Pitt's kind of kind of been losing a little bit of control of the item management a bit. Definitely. Pitt now looking for a situation where he can engage, but he's going to walk right into a bad spot again. And oh, the turnaround at the last second from Pitt with a super clutch Dire Orb. He was able to bring that back and restore his own advantage now to take control of that duel, bring his opponent down to just one champion remaining. I can't believe we just saw that happen. I mean, he... Astro Boy really had him dead to rights with that with that ambush, and then <laughs> just just amazing, seriously. Uh, just to turn around and, and throw the throw the dire orb at him like that and, and get the kill is just wow. There we go. What a turnaround! He's I mean, gonna, seriously, he's going to be able to complete it too. It always seems like the third kill is the easiest to get there. After uh, we see some clutch second kill come out there, this breaks the opponent's will, and we see that again there as his opponent there. He is going to be able to pit. This is, is going to be able to take control of the first map in this series, going up three to one. Yeah, nice job by Pit. A couple scary moments there for him. You know, Astro Boy, honestly, I thought was reading him a little bit there sometimes. Twenty-five mega health pickups to seven uh, for Pit. 19 heavy armors to 14 for Pitt. Um, kind of what we we're talking about. It seemed like he's lost a little bit of control of item management there, but uh, superior combat skills, maybe using that latency a little bit to his advantage, and, uh, you know, got the win there. So, and again, the clutch Dire Orb. Uh, talk about a highlight reel, you know, 180 Dire Orb. Come on. <laughs> Perfectly played, and the worst part is he's at a huge disadvantage for that entire fight, too. He's yeah. sitting in the corner, crouched, so for Astro Boy, he walks up to that fight, oh, this is easy for me. He thinks he has that one, and it looks like it's going to be the case, but e yeah. the very last second, that active ability, the Dire Orb coming in from Pit saves the day, and then he has no problem getting the, the third kill after that one. Th that's one of those things I'd like to see, the facial reaction of Astro Boy, right when that's happening, right? Because like you said, he had him dead to rights. Oh, look, this guy's just sitting here with his back turned to me. I'm going to hit him with a rock, and you're like, ah, he he's so messed up right now. Then, oh, no, I'm dead. Like, what happened? Oh, he dire warped me. <laughs> <laughs>
So nicely done from Pitt. He's going to take quick control of that first map. We saw a little bit of light from his opponent there towards the uh, towards the middle of that map, but unfortunately he did drop the majority of the round, so he is going to be losing that first map. He's got potentially one or two maps left, of course, if he can take this second one and try and uh, bring this set back in control of himself and earn an Australian slot at QuakeCon, but he is going to have to take down Pitt in order to do that. And Pitt is ready to fight, and as we saw, he was in a dominant stance for a lot of that first uh, map there, so it's going to be tough for Astro Boy to bring it back, especially with him still dealing with the ping and everything like that, too. Yeah, it, I mentioned it earlier, playing with high latency in Quake is, is very difficult, especially when you're playing top-notch opponents like this who can give you, you know, just as good as you're going to get. So um, I would imagine Pitt, you know, you could see some of those scenarios where, yeah, he was kind of pushing some feeling like he was going to win the combat. And uh, But you got to give Astro Boy credit. Again, Pitt needs to be a little concerned. If I, if I was Pitt, even though he got the win there, I'd be a little concerned about the item management, giving up so many he uh, heavy armors, so many mega healths. You know, you don't want to give somebody that big of an advantage with stack. I don't care how great your aim is. So you, you need to be a little careful here going to this next map. Well, hopefully that's going to be a little bit easier because the next map is going to be over on Blood Covenant. So things split up a lot more. You don't have the two power-ups basically right next to each other, just on different levels. They're going to be on opposite sides of the map. So hopefully Pitt has a little bit easier time of controlling. Specifically the armor, I think, is where he lost most of the pickups there. Was still able to remain somewhat competitive with the mega health. But when it came to the armor, that's where he really fell behind a lot of the time. Yeah, just, again, just, you want to work with a good stack. Uh, but, you know, to his credit, though, even though Astro Boy had control for a lot of times, uh, Pitt really didn't reveal himself too much. You know, we saw him kind of hanging around those back areas, picking up the health, slowly rebuilding his stack, especially on clutch, and um, lasting a long time. And, and so you got to give him credit for that, that although his opponent had control, he wasn't making it exactly easy for his opponent to, to get the frag with control. So... So yeah, it is time for that second map, folks, as you can see. It is still warm up, so call them. We didn't just miss the first kill there. We got about 20 seconds until we actually start the real map itself. And we get to see if Astro Boy is gonna be able to strike back here, as I believe that first map was Astro Boy's pick. So this is now Pitt's pick for the second map here. Going over to Blood Covenant now. We'll have to see if he's gonna be able to keep it consistent and win his own map pick, or if his opponent, Astro Boy, is gonna strike back and take it away from him. Yeah, always a little confidence builder if you can beat somebody on the map they pick. Just my opinion, you know, back in the day, we used to have a kind of similar system people pick. And yeah, if you beat somebody on, on their map, oh yeah, that makes you feel good. Going to the next one. Yeah. So let's jump into the game, of course, and take a look here now at the fighting between Pitt and Astro Boy. Astro Boy looking to hold on here. As Pitt is actually going to end up jumping into combat right at the start of this engagement. Trying to roll away. Managed to get himself that armor pickup, and now the problem is, though, is he's going to find himself at the bottom of the pillar roof, trying to hold on there. Astro Boy still trying to strike at it as well from up on top, but he can't lock down Pit. Pit's still in a good position to be able to hold back and run away from this one. Of course, because we do apologize for the technical issues, we're working on that as quickly as we can to fix that and get us back into the game. Out of this place. A little quick uh, frag for Astro Boy, a little. Now, as the action continues, we'll see Pit once again leaping into the fray against Astro Boy here. Pit still trying to hold on, but there's great LG chase coming in from Astro Boy. And with that, he is going to be able to take him down. So the trade comes in. Astro Boy taking out Pit, and now Pit down 0 and 2 at the beginning of this round. Wow, Astro Boy coming out the gate firing, firing. I mean, I'm really impressed, you know, even though dealing with that latency, man, his lightning gun is in the, it's not too bad, man. I mean, considering he's probably playing with about 180 ping or so right now. It, you gotta give him a lot of credit for being on the lineup to the lightning gun like he does. Well, Master Boy still looking to hold on to his situation here now. He's got the lead. He's got a 1v3 to play off of here now if he can win this out properly. It's only about just knocking out that last champion that Pitt has in it. Nyx Phoenix a mirror matchup too as well. So this is gonna be one of his best chances to do it. He just has to be really careful not to get engaged upon and also not to get sniped railed out like that that we've been seeing a lot of today. Especially on this map too. There's been a lot of very uh, good players that have been able to just sneak in, get these really small peaks and just sneak off the damage and then run away. Yeah, it, it, this is definitely a map, as we mentioned, you can play your side of the map if you really want to and play passive. Yeah, but there's still a lot of time left. It's over. Oh, watch out for that bounce up. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of time left. Pitt just needs to get a frag here and get himself within one. And Astro Boy still looking for that chance to do it here. So you can see Pitt fighting it out, continuing to look for what he needs to take out Astro Boy itself. Power should be spawning up soon here, too. As his opponent was just able to pick that up, and it's going to be Pitt going in, getting himself the mega armor. But oh, getting tagged again now. Down very low at this point. He's losing a lot of his armor. He's trying to look out for where Astro Boy would jump in and engage on him from. But 
Stuck back over here inside of the rocket room right now, or the shotgun room, excuse me. Yeah, time's starting to get a little short here. I mean, if you're pit, you definitely want to at least get within one with with it with about four minutes. Yeah, we so. have about the four minute mark. Yeah, you, so he's got about he's got about a minute each to get these kills now. I mean, you can conceivably get it done with less time than that, but you're you're up against it then. I mean, at least a minute, and even then it's gonna be rough. Nice rail connection there, getting him as he does fall away, and now oh, beautiful lockdown as well. Perfect transition from the lower portion of the map to go in, prevent him from escaping. So he takes on the Knicks. That's the first mark. But now he's got to go up against these slightly tankier champions as well. Not too much, but. Overall, they are still going to be able to take a bit more of a fight than this Nyx can if he's not careful. Yeah, nice little momentum shift. I'm sure Astro Boy was thinking about trying to protect that 2-0 lead right now. So I'm sure he's, you know, mentally thinking he can't just hang back. There's still plenty of time here, so he, he's not in a, in a safe spot. And this just gives us a nice chance, too, to uh, see the perspective of just the individual players here as well, as now you can see what the players are looking at. There's no more of those timers at the top, but they have to keep track of that all on their own here. And, oh, the fight's actually going to get really close up, but the stealth may work out. However, the rocket shot, if it was just a millisecond later, it would have done massive damage. It doesn't seem to matter, though, as Pit holds on, now getting a second kill, turning this round back on its heels. He's completed the comeback, and now this is going to be a 1v1 to decide the round. And getting away with six health. Man, <laughs> it's just amazing. It's simply amazing. So now Pit, he's on the run a little bit here as Astro Boy is continuing to chase it down. He's hitting some nice rail shots here. A great comeback story. Pit, he complete it, but he's got to be careful. Pops into the stealth. He's staying out in the open, though. That's a big risk he's taken. As Astro Boy could quickly swing around, knock him out. And in the round right there and there. And now we're going to see it. The Anarchy tries to dive back in. He's taking a lot of help. We don't know exactly how low he is, but it's enough for Pit to complete the reverse sweep there. It was down 1v3, but he managed to bring it back, and he'll take round number one. Yeah, great rockets, you know, keeping uh, Astro Boy off of him there. Astro Boy recognized Pit was low. He's trying to get in there and, and get that frag, but, uh, you know, Pit was having none of it. He's, he's some good defensive rockets there, and he ran Astro Boy right into one. Yeah, so Pitt, like I said, great control. Have to start that off with the Nyx v Nyx battle. But he played it super cautiously. Great usage of the stealth as well to be able to complete that reversal. And now for that, he's managed to take round one. Just two more to go, and he's going to be heading to QuakeCon. Yeah, big turnaround. That's really big, I think, for Pitt. You know, Astro Boy kind of needed to change the momentum around. It seemed like things were going in his favor, and, and Pitt turned that right around. Uh, you know, So it really took the wind out of Astro Boy's sails, I think, right there. He's going to try to move back. I'm looking for an initiating rail shot. Looks like he's trying to get aggressive on it, too. He has kind of lost the position of his opponent. Gets it again. Now looking for the read onto it. He's got to be careful, though. And this is what I was talking about before. In other words, we're looking at the actual player's perspective. Is, of course, without the x-ray, you know, there's, there's a lot of uncertainty here about where exactly your opponent is playing from. And you have to time those power-ups on your own, watch out for spawns on your own, too. You don't have the UI to assist you anymore when you're playing here. That's right. And uh, that's one of the best things about uh, Quake, I think, is that, that mental aspect, timing these things, reading your opponent. Uh, it's, there is there's a science to it. There really is. And and one of the things it's 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 something you can't read out of a book. You know, any of experienced player Rafa could sit here and coach anybody directly and, and give them the keys to the kingdom, so to speak. But in the end, it's up to you to go down and play and uh, and apply it. And uh, only the player can do that. All right. Well, there we go, folks. We are finally back in game now. So Astro Boy hitting some nice rail shots actually against Pit, and it's put him down quite low. Just over 25 HP recovers some of the HP now. It was a little bit early to try and push over towards where the armor spawns, though. There was still a good, you know, 15 seconds until it was about to come up. So we did try to push into that a little bit too early there. And now Astro Boy is going to look to take advantage upon this there. They did the earlier damage. Unfortunately, that clutch is so fast, and you can see how quickly Pit was able to escape that situation and run away. Yeah, they clutch. Uh, oh my gosh, a little, little latency there. Yeah, uh, I missed what happened there. So Astro Boy got the kill on Pit. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he followed. <laughs> looks like he followed him to uh, heavy armor happened. there. Yeah. So, as we do jump back into the next fight, we should clarify as well that that was uh, that issue did not affect the players. That was only uh, that was only an issue for our spectators. So that did not affect the actual game right there. What you guys just saw. We just got the mist of cool stuff. That's I all. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I know. It was a good it pursuit. It, obviously, it keeps you guessing. It keeps you uh, keeps you on your on your toes. Well, I was wondering if he was really going to pursue there because it wasn't exactly the safest pursuit, and he went for it and obviously got the frag there. So kudos to Astro Boy. 
Well, now Pit's going to continue to chase down this kill. It's way too aggressive, though. And Astro Boy is able to easily just hold that back off by using his rails. Or excuse me, not his rails, using his LG there just to completely push back Pit. Put him into the actual Pit inside of that blue room there and take him out pretty easily. So once again, Pit's been put down onto his Nyx again. And he did it once. He's going to have to do it again. And there's the first kill. Where is this coming from? It seems like he can only do this work on the Nyx. Yeah, I know. Maybe he might just want to pick this champion right <laughs> off the bat here because... Uh, think? It's definitely causing Astro Boy problems. We saw it in the last round when he came back. I mean, he just couldn't seem to uh, get anything going when, when Pitt went to Nyx. So uh, we'll see what happens here. This is going to be very interesting if Pitt gets the tie and frag. He's got him low now, though. And the Nyx only at 25 HP. He's got to be very careful. He's been spotted again coming outside of the stealth. So they know that the Nyx is sitting down here inside of the pillar pit somewhere. Just going to try to lock it down. Astro Boy looks like he was going to dive in for a second. That's what you don't want to do in this situation. That's how you lost the duels last time. So he's smart. He stays up on top where he has the high ground. And now leaping into this next fight, this is some great LG damage being done over here now by Pitt, and he completes the second kill. Wow. I mean, seriously, that's, that's just good. one good LG stream. It really forced Astro Boy to, to change his mind there and Dire Orb back up, and then he tried to get a little peek shot there, but uh, Pitt all over it with the lightning gun and just finished him off. Well, now... The Nyx is getting some good damage in there too, bringing Astro Boy down low. In fact, he's just under 50 HP. They're recovering some of it, but it's a bit of a race to get over here towards the armor spawn. Pit's gonna wanna try to punish it. He could take him out right here and complete the reverse sweep again, as he did back in round number one here, but Astro Boy knows that that's a possibility. So he backs up. He's gonna give respect to Pit here finally and let him pick up the armor. Yeah, but Pit's in a good spot. Ghost Walk is up. He's got a good stack. I mean, he's probably just looking for one good ambush here. Close this round out. I mean, Anarchy, not exactly, you know, a tanky champion either. So they're, they're not, he's not going to have any advantage of stack in terms of Astro Boy. So um, the ambush factor is going to be huge here. Ooh, and he just misses that rail shot too. Barely hitting a connection against Pit. Astro Boy still sitting down below. And nicely done as he's actually able to dodge quite a few of these rail shots. Was hit by one on the escape though. But it was just as he was leaving. And Mega Health Spawn is coming up in a second too. But oh, just before he gets it. The shot comes in, he has to read into it right now, but he gets out of the room before the Nyx is able to reappear. And that's dangerous here now for Pit as he has walked into the arena and he's not ready to take this fight, but no! A last second rocket and Pit does it again! Oh, wow, just <laughs> amazing, man. This guy seems to wake up, but he's down 2-0 and a nice fall away rocket there. Uh, geez, just, woo, clutch, man. Clutch play from, from Pit. Uh, to come back like that, and you gotta say this kid might have a little bit of ice water in his veins, you know? We gotta have to watch this guy. <laughs> That's the second 1v3 in a row from Pit. And now we go into what could be the final round. These are two rounds in a row that Astro Boy should have easily had under his belt. Now it's not gonna be the case anymore, and they're all for Pit. So if he can win one more, he's going to QuakeCon. What a way to do it. Yeah, very, I'm sure he's... You know, right now, it's just, you can't think about QuakeCon if you're Pit. You know, you gotta think about getting this next round. I know it's hard to do, because I'm sure he's getting a little excited right now, but you know, he's gotta keep that under wraps and make sure he finishes this guy off. Astro Boy is gonna find himself cornered a little bit here at the start. You can see him getting hit by extra damage from the rockets. Almost hit by the rail there, too. He is able to back up, getting a full 100 damage. That's another 80 getting stacked on top of that. So deals nearly 200 damage in just a few seconds. That knocks out pretty much all of Pit's armor pool. So he is gonna have to fall back, disengage from the fight, and look to recover some more of that armor before he can go back in. Very interesting here. Still starting with the clutch. I was hoping maybe he'd go with Nyx right away. Maybe he just doesn't like the Nyx versus Nyx uh, matchup. He prefer gold clutch. Like, yeah. uh, I, I, I'd be curious to know like, if there's some strategy involved with it on, on his end. Well, Astro Boy jumping back in. There's another 100 damage rocket, I believe, coming out from him. Keeping Pitt's HP relatively low, but Pitt getting the full armor pickup here now, and Astro Boy, like, what do you see? He's going to delay, taking a little bit of a risk. It pays off, though, because Pitt did not really try to chase down that health at all, so he was able to successfully split the timers only by about five or so seconds, granted, so it's not a huge split just yet. But it's getting it there, and he can do that again when the next spawn comes back up. Yeah, I think he thought the heavy armor probably picked up a little sooner. Otherwise, I bet he would have probably waited a few more seconds, but I'm uh, still trying to delay it, like you said, to, to be able to, so he can run between the, you know, the two items on the map. Well, Pitt is going to be looking for control over the Mega Health group. Some of the others. The problem is, is Astro Boy jumps in and gets a great engagement on him with the LG, so massive damage being done there by Astro Boy. Keeping Pit reserve, keeping him relatively low, and he still has about 15 seconds until the armor itself comes back up. So there is plenty of time now for Astro Boy to route over to this side of the map and actually now take a challenge against Pit for that armor. Yeah, he's definitely going to hear him above right now. He knows he's there. He's going to wait for a drop. Nice. 20 HP remaining for Pit, so he does have to give up there too. 
that was a nice little combo uh, from Astro Boy dropping down. I don't even think Pitt realized, you know, that those shots came in like that. Pitt had to go back up there to check and make sure that his opponent did actually fully steal out the armor. So he's lost that. Now both of the power ups go into the control of Astro Boy. He's just got the health again, too. He's got a big advantage to play off of. Nice little sneaky rail shot that he hits off there, too, I believe. So doing even more damage, knocking out more of the armor. He's making it a rough life for Pitt right now as he's trying to come back from this one, but he just can't figure out how to actually lock down Astro Boy. He's just constantly on the run from him right now. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, especially with, with the tankier classes like this, you gotta be really careful because it, it's hard to build back up, so. And uh, from Astro's boy, Astro Boy's perspective, you want to keep picking at the, you know, the tanky the champion, like Clutch. You don't want to let Clutch get fully stacked because it could present a problem, serious problem. Because even if you line him up with some damage, he's just so stacked. I mean, he, he can just take it and make sure he lands shots of his own. So Astro Boy again, just going to run the gauntlet here now. Gets the armor. He got the health about 15 seconds ago. So he's got the split that he wants. He's got full control over the map. He pretty much has Pit back into a corner too. Just has to lock down those final few shots that are needed. Like that one, there's a great start. And as well, knocks out his opponent through the shield, taking him down and knocking out that clutch. Yeah, in case people were wondering what happened there, he had a shield up and he went to shoot that rocket launcher. Shield dropped and he happened to shoot a rail at the same time and that's a wrap. So good timing by Astro Boy to read that he was probably going to try to sneak in the little damage there with the shield. and Just, yeah. Another shot connecting from Astro Boy this time around. Hitting off Pit, taking him down lower. And he's having trouble with hitting any of these follow up shots. So Astro Boy does actually have to bail out of the fight. Now letting Pit have the ground for the time being. And this actually could allow for now Pit to move back in. The Dire Orb actually misses, but okay. The Rail shot coming out from his opponent also misses too. He's able to recover from that one. And Astro Boy, some nice shots, but Pit with the greedy repeat moves back in and is able to complete the trade against Astro Boy. He's got to run to pick up health quickly though, as he's still very low. Yeah, I'm sure Astro Boy is just looking to machine. Got him anywhere right now. Don't think he's gonna get the chance though. He was found over the other side of the map picking up armor. Some nice railing from Astro Boy, but you know, Pitt landed the one there that he needed to to get that kill. You know, Pitt holding on right now, trying to go for these range shots in the rails again. No luck just yet. There's another connection. Oh, he's and got him on the road. is missing him as well, so he's still at a great amount of HP. He can easily dive in and take a fight if he wants to. But I think he's going to be happy with just power-up control right now. As now he knows he's going to have the uh, the armor spawn going for himself too. Yeah, this is this is smart. You know, you're, you're moving to sudden death right now. So, uh, yeah, make sure you secure the armor. Definitely want to secure this uh, mega health, and then go on the hunt. Go on the hunt and try to end it. Yeah, we just hope Astro Boy would try to move in and get greedy and look for that one. He's going to find him up on top. Both of them trade blows, but again, this is going to favor Pit as he does have all the extra health and armor and didn't realize how that Astro Boy would try to drop back down and rail from the other side. And oh, this is again, but Pit also connecting one shot. Both are one shotable via rails or rockets even at this point if they can hit them head on enough. Pit has slightly more HP, but both are going to be choosing to back away. Pit going to be really safe here using the Dire Orb just to port back over there and be able to get himself the armor pickup. So he's got that going. And now he's going to try to head over here and grab the Mega Health too, which I think he's going to get it. Yeah. There's good there's good separation. Uh, smart to use the die or better safe than sorry, and then just hurry back. He's got he's got Astro Boy on the run right now. And Astro Boy being forced downstairs into the depths. Good run away. Just get these smaller armor pickups are really all he's gonna be able to do right now. And again, you have the Mega Armor coming up in just a second here. So Pitt's already back up on the bridge, looking to make sure that he maintains control over that one. Rail's connecting. He's getting hit heavily by rockets, though, so he's got to be a little bit more careful, especially if these small peaks come back in for Master Boy. There you go. There's one right there, hitting some great damage on the rails over on the pit. He still can eat that back up as he's at max HP. And with the rocket ammo that he's got in excess here, he's able to cordon off this little choke point and make sure that he goes and gets the Mega Health again, too. Yeah, he's got firm control right now. He really is on the prowl trying to get this finish. First Ranger to die is going to be the one that loses this round, and this would be an incredible map for Pit. He could finally win it out in a non-1v3 fashion, as we have been seeing prior to this one. But Astro Boy sneaking in those little rail shots again, and it's going to be quite potent against Pit here too, despite the armor pickup. Well, Pit is now down extremely low. Dara Quirk coming back in, but it's not enough damage, so Astro Boy spins it around, and now he picks up his first round of the map. Wow, really close, uh, you know. They're giving us drama in every single round. You gotta, you gotta give them that. I mean, it's it's either Pit coming back down, you know, from 2-0, or now we got our sudden death in round three. Uh, you know, but I I still feel like, it, you know, I don't know what your feelings are, but I still feel like Pit. I feel like Pit's gonna get this win. I really do. I, I think Astro Boy, while he's making some some good plays, well, you like say that, that. <laughs> I say that, and then he gets uh, just totally destroyed by the uh, nail gun. They just walk into this nail gun spray real quick. 
as well. That's a big mistake. Maybe Pitt's just trying to get down to the 1v3 to start it off. He's like, well, couldn't win the round normally, so let's try this again. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the whole thing. He maybe he operates better under pressure like that, you know? He's about to lose his second champion again here, too. He's kind of scavenging for health and whatnot. Gets that armor at the very least, so he's back to a pretty okay point, too. But still, he's got to be careful. So Nyx can be quite tricky if you're not paying attention. Absolutely, absolutely. You gotta watch out for that ghost walk, man. That's. Yeah, I really believe that's a big thing with Nyx is making her to use it defensively. You do not want her setting traps and ambushes with the ghost walk. You're gonna, you're not gonna see it coming, man. This is not good. There we go. There's Astro Boy taking another shot here on the rail, but unfortunately trades back onto him. Can't continuously eat those shots back up. In fact, he almost died trying to go for the armor there too, at only 75 HP. But the missed opportunity from Pit is now going to become a new one for Astro Boy. He is going to dive in here, unfortunately, whiffing on his own rail shots. There's a nice cheeky one there. Gets a second one, too. It's one shot. Well, now Astro Boy wants to chase it down, but he's also been brought down low. Both players, such a good die to one or two hits from either the Rockets or the Rails. So they're both going to fall back and look to regroup a little bit here before the next fight. I like that route Astro Boy just took right before the heavy armor, just to make sure he got a little armor so he wasn't railable. And then he can come back, even though Pitt wasn't there. It was just a careful play to make sure he had, you know, decent stacked and, and he got good position on bridging and bridging and to challenge it everywhere. So even though no action still it was just intelligent. For Astro Boy specifically. Still choosing to hang around the over here in the pillar room. Looking for Pitt and making sure that he has the high ground when he does, does take the next advantage. And there you go, catches him going on the jump pad. A little bit more damage is getting free in a moment. He's gonna have to go and grab the extra rail pick up there, but it's right next to him, so it's not too big of a problem. But no, he actually bypasses it, so he only has that one rail shot left still. He will need to run over in a moment and grab some ammo for it. I don't think he realizes that. Uh, he's no, he's realizing that. it now. No, yeah. <laughs> no he's still, he's in there again. No, he's still, I don't think he realized. He no, just tried to, yeah, I think that's there. like instinct yeah, right there, yeah. but still. He was able to get the kill at the very least, so just went over too quickly to the LG to make sure he finished it off with that one. Now, well, Pit, let's see if he can do this for a third time. Yeah, I mean, seriously, this is uh, getting interesting here. Astro Boy keeps coming off the impressive starts. Let's see if he can get the finish this time. Astro Boy brought down low. Pit can chase it. He's got all the health advantage here, too. Unfortunately, he's only got a shotgun, so the range is not really going to play in his favor. Good rocket damage being done. Astro Boy trying to juke him to the best of his abilities. Now he finally pops the stealth. I was wondering when we'd see that from Astro Boy. That should be enough to convince Pit to back up here. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have the option to back up, so he's stuck over here on the top. But Astro Boy looking for the last shots needed. He did see the stealth just pop back off, so he's going to be on the run here. Let's get Pit close to the gap. Tries to get the kill, but he's going to be a little bit too far off in the range department. Yeah, Pitt's just trying to trying to push the issue a little bit. He knows he needs to get a frag back, definitely in the next 30 seconds. Uh, you know, try to make that comeback possible. But, uh, you know, Astro Boy definitely not making it easy. Landing some good rockets, too. Astro Boy continuing to sit back here now. Breath on very low, 14 HP on the run. Now eight at range, and there we go. Finally, Pitt gets that kill. Took him a while. Yeah, good job. Good job to follow and get the kill there. I'm sure now, I'm, I, I would imagine it's funny in those situations, you know, the shotgun is, is actually really good as a starting weapon. But in that situation, he's probably like, dang, I wish I had a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a minute left now to get that second kill. Bring it down to sudden death again. So let's see if he can accomplish that. Pit. He's ready to go. He's got everything he needs, essentially, here. He doesn't really have uh, any of the mega health pickups or anything like that, but Astro Boy doesn't, shouldn't have those either. I definitely want to see if he can pull this off again for... <laughs> I mean, that's pretty I amazing. I mean, if you win your map uh, for the map, and especially coming back from 2-0, <laughs> Each time you want to press it. I think Astro has figured out how to play this though, and look at this, he's just running away essentially. Unfortunately, he's eating a lot of rails in the process, so it's not gonna stop it from happening as Pit gets the second kill again. If this happens for a third time, I don't even know what to say at that point. As that was some beautiful work for Pit, and Astro Boy was just biting into it and just continued to let him hit these rail shots. It was like four in a row. Oh, I don't know if he was letting him hit those rail shots. It's I mean, Pit was really putting in some work there. I mean, seriously, I, this kid. Well, I call him a kid because I'm much a little bit older than him, but this young man is, is doing a heck of a job here to come back from the brink of defeat in several of these rounds to, to even, even just to push it to sudden death like this. Again, I, I'm just really impressed with his composure. Well, let's see. One more kill to go. Once again, it goes up against Astro Boy's Anarchy. 
So he's now going to take the low ground, trying to establish a little bit more of a power-up advantage here too. Unfortunately, he has the timing till he's wrong. He's still about 10 seconds off from the uh, armor spawn currently, so he's going to have to wrap back around and wait this out a little bit more before he can get that pick up. And in that time, uh, well, Astro is actually going to have a really, you know, He's going to have plenty of extra time to run around and just steal that himself. But I think this works, though, because Pit was trying to bait Astro Boy into going for them so that he could immediately take the damage off. But now he's not ready to take this fight. This is the problem. He's going to find escape. He cannot take this duel right now. Thankfully, Astro Boy misread the situation, but they're going to find themselves another fight. However, oh, almost from Pit. But the fight is too close range, so he is not able to win it out. And his opponent ties it up at 2-2. Yeah, a little bit of uh, kind of going some little bit of quake tactics here. Uh, the lightning gun, uh, shotgun armor down there that you see people going for is a very dangerous spot to jump to, especially when you're low. Uh, and, you know, he's jumping through mid down towards that area, and already you can see Astro Boy is kind of looking in that area to try to find a, get, get that final uh, blow on him. And yeah, just a little dangerous. You gotta you gotta be careful going down to that armor. It is, it's a hot damage. Next, trying to stagger early on here, but he misses all these rocket shots. And now he's trying to play close range with the shield and his advantage. Good spot there towards the end of the uh, shield duration, actually, to see that Astro Boy is actually still sitting behind him, but he's still in the hot seat. The LG work is being great from Astro Boy right now. And he's got Pit down at 50 HP. Can't go for the jump pad to try and steal the Mega Health. And there you go, Astro Boy will get the first kill again. Astro Boy just recognizing that, hey, Clutch is just, you know, he's lightning gun bait. And he just keeps putting it on him. He's 200 ping, 880 ping, whatever, whatever. That's right. It doesn't matter. The, the hitbox is the size of a house. And he's making him pay when he's on Clutch. I mean, every round, I think he's gotten Pit off Clutch relatively I, quickly. I think there was one round, maybe, where Pit got the first kill. Yeah. But yep. overall, overall, Clutch, as his first pick, just hasn't, hasn't been working very well for him in this match. No. It's, it's all been on the Knicks. I think it's yeah. like 90% of his kills have been from the third and final champion that he's chosen. So. This, this is big now. Now the pressure's got to be getting a little bit to Pit, thinking, you know, this guy's back in the match. You don't want to, if you're Pit, you're thinking you don't want to go to a third map with this guy. No, that's just going to frustrate him, to be honest. He has to go all the way to that third and final map. So he is going to be sitting back here now. Nice rail shot connecting, but he's also hitting some, getting hit by some rockets here, so he's got to be a little bit more careful. Sure, boy. Was able to escape. So he's going to dive away from this fight, and he'll be good to recover. At both items at the same time, nobody's going to really get firm control over everything. But again, just Pit just needs, I mean, it's plenty of time. Just needs to get that tie and kill. Or maybe he should just give up this frag and go straight to the next. I don't know. Well, for Pit, he's still looking for some shots to connect back over onto Astro Boy, but his rail work has unfortunately fallen off in these recent times, and now Astro Boy's gonna be able to move in, and well, here you go again, Pit. Right back where we started. Yeah, it's just, you've won the 1v3 wow. two times, you brought it down to a 1v1 another time after starting at a 1v3, so now can you win the 1v3 again? As if not, you're dropping this map, and you gotta go to a third and final one, and we're gonna see ruins, I think, for the first time today. Uh, we did actually, correct we did see one once earlier, Sane uh, picked that map oh, okay, against yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay. But yeah, not a, not a common pick today. No. No. Everyone's been avoiding it here. No. Oh, Astro Boy. He's going to find himself in a peculiar spot. He knows where Pit's hiding at, though, so nicely done. Reads into it, counters it out. Great rocket spam against Pit. That's going to keep him held back for a little bit longer. And actually, no, as I say that, Pit just leaps into combat, but oh, gives man. himself away. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's Astro Boy taking our second map, and he's going to tie us up at one to one. Wow. Just wow. I think if, you know, one, if you're Astro Boy, you're thinking, whew. Way to force the third map, it was really close on him, and then Pitt, you're thinking that's the one that got away. He really could have closed it. I think he, he had Astro Boy on the ropes there a few times, and uh, I mean, what can you say? You gotta give credit again to, to Astro Boy too for, for really sticking with the ping thing. I mean, it's, it's really hard to do, and uh, he's making the most of it. Uh, but Pitt's just gotta make some adjustments, play a little smarter. I think uh, as we saw, he got a little aggressive in some, in some areas where maybe he didn't have a good stack, and um, it really cost him. Absolutely. So that one closing out. We should be heading to our third map here pretty shortly, I believe. As uh, I said before, Pitt unfortunately dropping that second one. And we do end up in a tie. Yeah, apologies for the confusion there, folks. It is indeed tied with Astro Boy taking control of that second map. So we are going to head over to a uh, third and final map here in just a second. As soon as we get the players loaded up in the lobby and everything, we should be good to hop right into that one. And like we said before, it is going to be on the ruins of Sarnath. It is a map we have not seen played out a whole lot today. But it's going to be nice to get another peek at that one and see how uh, see how things play out there. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, I'm wondering if 
Pitt's going to stick with the clutch. I don't necessarily think the clutch has been working too great for him in, in, in either map, really. It, it just, nor, nor the Ranger, really, to be honest. Yeah, well, yeah, Ranger is, you know, but to me, the big factor is because his clutch is so big. And he, you can just see Astro Boy really punishing him with the lightning gun in several instances. And uh, it just makes me wonder that maybe he's not as effective with the clutch against this player, maybe against other players. But for whatever reason, Astro Boy's style is just not allowing him to really get in the groove with his clutch and is taking it out of his game a little bit. Because you don't want to go down 1-0, 2-0, you know, all these rounds. I think he may have found a necessary to use the clutch there too just because of how split up the map tends to be and having that extra, because clutch be very fast as we saw there plenty of times too. So having that extra movement speed maybe helps him out a little bit with getting around the map if he didn't feel confident in his own movement. As you notice, he didn't go for like the anarchy or the sword like pit, which, or pick, which, uh, which gives you like that extra movement capability there too. So it seemed like he kind of went with the easier option over around the clutch. Yeah, and, and maybe he's just going with, maybe that's just his pick. You know, he goes with these guys and he's going to run them all the way. And that, that's his favorite, you know, combination. And it, it is a versatile combination that he's running. Seriously, it really is. I mean, uh, but you sometimes I'm just wondering if Astro Boy's getting a little bit. It seems like Astro Boy's just all over that clutch. He's, he's not getting a whole lot of momentum with him. And and he, it's just putting himself into a hole in, in a lot of these rounds. And maybe he might just even just switch up the order maybe a little bit. You know, go, go with Ranger or Nyx right away. And then maybe switch to clutch and uh, for a spawn, just in case to avoid a spawn frag. And I don't know. I, it's just, it's really tough to say, you know, because... Um, Astro Boy, again, you got to give credit to the player uh, for putting the damage on Pit. And especially with the high ping, it's, it's hard to do. Yeah, absolutely. And we can see the maps here again that have already been played out. The first two. Uh, the first one, Astro Boy's pick on Blood Orb was won quite easily, actually, by Pit. It was on the second map where Pit struggled really dramatically, but was somehow able to pull off a 1v3 two times in a row in the first two rounds. Uh, then dropped the next three, however, and lost that map to his opponent, from, uh, Astro Boy, here. So, he lost, so each player has lost their own map pick so far. And now we're going over to the third and final map, which is the one that both these players had agreed upon mutually. It's going to be over on the ruins and we'll see how well each player is able to face off there as this seems to be a very underplayed map in general so both these players may find this is a little bit less familiar with it and just a exciting match you know that second map where we had two sudden deaths you know two come from behinds from from two zero uh, yeah it just really went to the wire and pretty much every round except one i think astro boy kind of took pit out of his game a little bit but very close matchup in all those rounds. I'm sure Pitt's thinking, again, I'm sure he's feeling like that one got away from him a little bit. Yeah, so we'll have to hope he can shrug that off. He's still looking pretty okay about uh, how to take on this third map here. So hopefully he's not worried about uh, the results of that second map too much. And he should be good to jump back into this third and final map now, which is going to be starting in about 20 seconds, I think, is when the actual game should get started. Players just in warm-up now. We'll pop around for a couple seconds, and then we can get started with this match and get to see who's going to be moving on to QuakeCon. Are we going to have another representative here from North America? Or is an Australian going to be able to steal that slot? You know, I, I will say this, though. Doesn't Pitt look cool as a cucumber right now? I mean, he really does look like, you know, is he trying to qualify for a major event or is he just playing a fun game online right now? It's hard to tell. I mean, he's really, you know, you see, you, I've seen players get frustrated and you see the nerves and it just seems like he's really focused and, and that's good. All right, well, let's get to it. And we do see that clutch pit coming back in. In fact, I think it's the same exact champion rotation for Pit that we saw in the last map, and that is indeed the case. We've got the Ranger and the Knicks still in play. Same for Astro Boy as he won the last map, but so wouldn't really expect him to change that much unless it was a map-dependent pick. And Pit is actually going to take the first bit of damage here in this, uh, in this map as well. Being pegged by the rails. Now he's going to try to take a close-up fight here. He's got the shield to work with, and there we go. There's a nice combo for Pit. As he's going to be able to get the first kill. Yeah, fine. Hey, that's a good start. I think that's like the second round where you really got a, a good start with the, the clutch and got a kill like right away with the shield. So, um, good, good way to start the map. It's still looking for it's right to reinitiate here too against the new spawn from Astro Boys. He's over to the range now. There's the little clip off there with the rail shot. He's going to be able to connect onto a headshot there for Astro. And now, nicely done. The timing on this push out through the portal is perfect. Oh, wow. With one little LG shot, he's able to finish off the second kill too. Yeah, it, it certainly seemed like Pitt knew he was up at the Super Nail Gun area. I mean, he was going through that portal hot. And it really just had the sense I'd love to ask him if, if he knew he was up in that area because it seemed like he was going in very aggressively through that portal. Yeah, so now Pitt 
Still trying to read into Astrobo's movements here. Right now, he's trying to lock him down and prevent him from going for the LG pickup. And there we go. Fortunately, fired the rock off just a little bit too late. So he's not going to get any damage done here. Still controls the majority of the map right now. But ooh, this could be a bit of an ill advised dive. He took a lot of damage from the LG. He's trying to escape to some more damage here before he completely falls back. But he can't really get any of it done. So now he's going to fall back into the green room and look for that armor pickup when it comes in in just about a second here. Yeah, still in good shape. As long as he keeps control of that heavy armor, you can kind of. You can kind of live off of those health bubbles if you're clutch, but one thing you don't want to be living off is that light armor. It's, it's very difficult to rebuild your stack to 150 using 25 pickups. I mean, it's going to take you a long time, not to mention you have to hope your opponent never hits you. So it's it's very pivotal that he keeps running this heavy armor and steal the mega health one cannon. If, if it's down to the point where, you know, each of them have an item. And Pitt's been pretty much just camping in the green room for... Good 30 to 40 seconds now, at least since the last spawn, he hasn't moved from this location just yet. So he is letting his opponent get the run of the map along with the uh, the Mega Health, of course, back up on the top. Nice fake there, too. And he, he recognized Astro Boy was kind of waiting for him to come up that pad, and he went right back down it. Daring Astro Boy to go down to the swamp, as I like to call it down there. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, a, it's close quarters, pop the shield, rocket launcher. I'm sure Pitt would love to get into engagement down here. Astro Boy, though, is smarter than that. He is not choosing to go downstairs nope. in that situation. Thing is, though, is Pit can just stay down here all day if he wants to. He's got the 3v1 advantage. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's up to Astro Boy to make the push right now. Um, he's got a two-frag lead, two minutes to go. Oh, there's a surprise all of a sudden. Meets him at the top of the steps. He's going to push back into him here. And unfortunately for Pit, push comes to shove, and he is forced to pop that shield. He's not actually able to return all that much damage. I like what Pit's doing here, though, with the clutch. I mean, the advantage for for the Anarchy is out in the open, obviously, and um, pushing down here into a tight armor area, uh, you know, is going to be rough. And, and I think he deliberately, you know, was listening above earlier to keep those timers in. Watch out here. Wow. I was trying to do work with the rockets as well there as well, so it might not have been the best weapon selection for that fight. Unfortunately, the LG definitely comes out on top of that situation. So Astro Boy is going to be able to pick up the first kill for himself in this round. He's got a minute and a half about to get the second kill. Yeah, a little, I don't know if Pit meant to go up that jump pad or not, but definitely he should not have gone up the jump pad. I thought he should just got right back in the space with the rocket launcher. And, I mean, going up the jump pad was just a guarantee of getting lit up right there. And, um, so. A race for control over the armor here too, and it is going to end up forcing the pop of the stealth there for Pit as he needs to use to escape. He's getting some good follow-up damage, however, and Astro Boy trying to chase down himself. Great work with the LG, just a few more, and he's got the kill, but he switched over to the rockets all of a sudden. He'll use that injection to keep him in the fight. Another pickup for himself to play off of here as well. But now, all of a sudden, that last rocket comes in from Pit and closes it out for Pit as he takes round one. You ran out of ammo. Astro Boy ran out of ammo. It's unfortunate. On the LG. And the rocket. He had nothing. All he had left was, that's why he had to swap. He ran out of the rocket launcher too at the end. So when he shot that rocket, he had to swap the rail and he really had nothing left at the end of that. Unfortunate. So. Watch that ammo. Mm -hmm. We've seen that happen a few yeah, times we've, now. We've, we've seen, we've even seen Rafa, you know, go to rocket jump and oops, don't have rockets. I mean, we've seen everybody do it, so. And hey, you know what? We, we mentioned this is a pressure situation. You know, all these players are really good. It puts pressure on you, and that's, and that's how those mental mistakes happen. So it's from pressure. It's not like these guys just forget. It's the other guy, too. Well, that's that first round, however, going over to Pitt. As he looks to correct the mistake, I guess he's, he would call it, from the previous map there, losing out so often. And I was going to look to get another advantage going here. Problem is, though, is he's not going to have a great initiation. He shouldn't even really be taking this fight right now as he dives back into it. He's only got 50 HP to play off of. His opponent's just going to chase him down with an LG. Pitt doesn't even have one to play off of. The good news is that his retaliation with the Rockets were actually pretty decent. He brought Astro Boy down to just under 25 HP, recovering some of it now, of course. But Pitt was also brought down extremely low, so he was not able to continue chasing down Astro Boy. Both players respectively back up and disengage from that duel. Uh oh. Oh, he's in trouble, yeah. Just a <clears throat> little misread there. I mean, he heard the Mega Health try to run away. And you know, a little too late. I, I was I was questioning whether or not he should even go up there and check for the Mega Health at that point, because he's really still in that rebuilding stack kind of mode. Astro Boy made him pay, just got aggressive. He knew he was low. Yeah, Pitt really had nowhere to run, unfortunately. Didn't yeah. want to get too aggressive to try and go in for some, like, 25 pickups, so he ended up having to back away from that one. And now this is going to be in a very similar situation. He's really scared of using the LG for some reason, and Astro Boy just gets all this free usage of it as a result of that. Yeah, just, just pushed into an Astro Boy, man. For a, for a pink, I mean, I think it's lightning. It's superb. 
And Astro Boy trying to lock down exactly where Pit went after the stealth. However, now Astro Boy's used it. He's gonna try to lock down the final kill on the Pit here. Almost did it. A little more rail shot, but Astro Boy's also low. We'll work with 15 HP, and there's Pit. Finally Man, launching up that down. jump pad there to get his first kill. Yeah, Pit decided, oh, you're gonna rail me in the back like that? Well, I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing to you. And what? oh my goodness, look at this, coming back again. I mean, really? That was uh, that was Astro Boy's mistake right there. I think he, I think he actually had confidence in his ability to get a kill with the gauntlet there. And just wanted to show off a little bit, but couldn't happen. And there's some good juking coming out here from Astro Boy now as he's down onto the Anarchy. Quiffic rails all over the place, and he even misses the free one too. Oh, that could have been it for Pit right there. That could have been the reversal again. Yeah, I'm sure Pitt's shaking his head to himself a little bit right there. Those are some shots that I'm sure he, could, he wishes he could have back. Well, he's got Mega Health coming up in a second, so he should be able to grab that. Maybe not, actually. He's going to be a little bit careful. Yep, he's not in a great spot. To, you don't want to be out there. It's, it's very exposed, and he, he's one rail away from death. He missed the LG again. He just does not like the LG for some reason. So he just completely bypasses that. With just a basic stack here still. Looking to get that stealth back up so he's good for the next engagement if he gets surprised upon by Astro Boy. But Pit is still going to be sticking around over here. Waiting primarily, I think, for that Arbor to come back up. And now he spotted his opponent there. Another missed rail shot, though, and here comes the LG push again. That's the problem that I mentioned before. Pit can never counteract that LG work. Yeah, it just seems like Astro Boy is doing a really good job about getting the initiative with the, with the lightning gun. And... Uh, I mentioned it earlier about, you know, when, you, when you're getting in a lightning gun battle, especially if it's lightning gun versus lightning gun, whoever gets off that initial stream really does have an advantage to kind of start forcing your opponent uh, and pushing them around a little bit. So good rockets coming out for Pit, however. Was able to push Astro Boy back, but Astro Boy's going to, going to want to continue the fight on the LG now. It's got to be careful. Nice fadeaway rail coming in for Pit just as he's escaping that situation. Knows he has the armor coming up in about four seconds here, so he's going to look to pick that up, but he's going to be challenged for it. Preemptively trying to pop off some of the rockets, but it's not going to work. However, can he chase down and get the teleprite? Nope, misses that one, and goodbye, says Astro Boy, as he leaps back up on the jump pad and escapes that situation. Yeah, a little risky. Very tough to get a telefrag for, for the Knicks on an Anarchy, who's so fast. Usually you see that on, on the tank your champions, like Clutch, and things like that, where it's kind of easier to get in that hitbox and, and make that mechanic work for you. We're down to 40 seconds until we end up in overtime here, but we're going to hit regardless unless someone gets the kill here soon. And Astro Boy, well, he almost just got it. Hit, forced in a defensive stealth as he once again just eats all this LG damage and has brought down to just over 25 HP. Yeah, Astro Boy doing a good job with control again. Uh, it's kind of similar to that first map where I feel like Pit needs to be a little concerned about, you know, how much map control Astro Boy ha has here. Um, you're putting yourself in a tough position where you constantly have to out damage your opponent to win engagements. You know, these guys are so good, you know, counting on winning every engagement like that is, is not a good idea. So he needs to do something here and try to wrestle back control, try to steal something from Astro Boy. Uh, you know, typically it has to do with some peak rails and good ambush, you know. Unreturned damage, really quite, you know, if you can dish out unreturned damage, it's huge. Astro Boy just making a run around right now, trying to get hit into the open. It's really been struggling to recover any of uh, his own stack here. So Astro Boy, he has, like I said before, he has had the run of the map for the most part. However, all of a sudden, Pit's going to find himself in a pretty rough spot, forced to pop off his, uh, forced to pop off his injection there. And after he launches Pit into the air, well, it's going to be Pit that gets that final rail shot to close out on the second round here. He's at a 2-0 start. This is right where he was in the last map. Now he needs to get that third and final round to complete it. Yeah, some clutch shooting from Pit right there to even the score. Uh, you know, he was, like you said, he wasn't in a great spot, but came around the corner, landed the rail he needed to to get the win. And hey, I mentioned it earlier, talking with Stunna, it's all about winning. So into the third round, and we'll get to see if Pitt can complete the 3-0 sweep here on our third and final map and knock Astro Boy out of the event. He is going to be pushed back, Oliver. He gets the first rail shot. Pitt with a high speed rail shot, though. Was zooming past Astro Boy, but still a bit hit it. And Astro Boy connects to nobody. He's going to get right up in his opponent's face. The stealth pops out. Astro Boy trying to run away from this one. Pit does have a pretty good lock onto his location, but chooses to evacuate the fight and head back inside of the Mega Health room. He needs to be careful hiding here. Both items are up. I don't know quite what he's doing here. Um, he's really giving Astro Boy control. I'd be surprised if Astro Boy doesn't get the heavy armor as well. No, he didn't go for it. Maybe he assumed Pit was going for it. Um, and still, the heavy armor is just sitting there. It's definitely. Uh, and oops, and so now Astro Boy has them both split up 15 seconds apart, which is the perfect split uh, in regards to timing. And yeah, it needs to be very careful right now. And yeah, Astro Boy knows that he has full control. There we go. 
Pitt's gonna lose that fight. Not really surprising there. Uh, National Blue just had him on the run, and Pitt was was doing a really poor job of even just picking up like 25 health health globes. Yeah, I seemed to lose his. Uh, I don't know. I seemed to lose. He definitely lost track of heavy armor. I was because it's so early in the match. I, I was a little surprised that that he lost track of it like that because it, it's standard if you're gonna pick it up 30 seconds you know, after the start of the map. So. Um, just, just interesting. Uh, it just looked like a little bit of a miscue. Yeah, and Astro Boy, he's got himself the armor pickup again here now as he's pretty much fully stacked. Mega Health is going to be spawning in a second too. Uh, Pit's not even close to challenging that, so it's another walkover pickup for Astro Boy. So once again, going to control the power ups. Even spots Pit coming outside of the portal there, so hits him with a real shot. He does take one back as well, but it's not as big of a deal for Astro Boy because he has all the extra stacks built up. And in a second, he can dive back down into the green room to look for the armor pickups. That's coming up right now. However, actually, Pit could beat him to it. He's got to be a little bit careful because of the rails here. It looks like he's able to move in, scavenge it. He only took one rail shot along the way. Yeah, I don't know if he was a little late, and then he decided to ambush because he was late, or if the plan was to ambush overall. It seemed like he was just a little bit late. The pit was there waiting. Oh, they're gonna end up pushing back a little bit here as Astro Boy looks for the shot. He was hoping to find him, push out of the portal again. And there we go. Now he's finally getting it, but he gets it while he's looking away. I think Astro Boy got a little bit distracted there, trying to go downstairs and keep track of the armor timing too. So he's going to pick that one back up. Still relatively low health, but he's going to be able to recover that pretty quickly. And now he's back up to a, pretty much a full stack again. It's all going to come down to who can control this health pick up here. And Pit does dive back in there, gets some good damage. He is able to pick up the mega health, so he gets that going for him. And now can run away, disengage, or choose to continue the fight. I'm a little shocked even before that. Again, Pit picked up the heavy armor, and then the next heavy armor, he just gave it up. I mean, he grabbed it. So the last of like, I, I just don't know. Maybe again, the pressure. Astro Boy is not exactly, you know, an easy opponent here. Uh, so it, it just seemed like he lost track of his timing a little bit there. Well, Pit back into the fray here now. Another rail shot brings Astro Boy just onto his default health. He is going to get a small couple 25 armor shards here, but right in that situation, Pit again with the weapon selection uh, ends up in an unfortunate spot as he could have ended it right there with rockets if he timed it properly. Now again, close up and trying to work with the rail. That's not going to work and trying to rockets at range after he loses the location of, uh, of, of his opponent there, Astro Boy. Let's him run away. He's still going to be able to control the armor pickup, but he's going to lock down this kill soon. He is running low on time, only a minute and a half now to get that train. Yeah, that was a big pickup there, actually. It looked like Astro Boy was going down the uh, jump pad way to get down there. He was a little bit late. I think he was hoping that heavy armor was still sitting there waiting for him. Well, Pit is trying to dive away from this situation here as he does finally bust out the LG. We haven't seen him using it for most of this match so far. Now, trying to avoid his opponent who wanted to continue the fight. It is going to end up in a rail fight. Astro Boy. That's the advantage here. He could one-shot Pit right now. I don't believe the same is true for Pit, especially now that Astro Boy got himself a full armor kit. However, Pit's just going to be sitting up top. He'll grab this mega health, and I don't even think Astro Boy's going to be close enough to challenge it. He'll have to look for him outside of the room here, right in this courtyard, because we'll find their next challenge. Yeah, Astro Boy probably looking to protect his lead a little bit here. He's, he's got very little bit of time on the clock, so... I mean, unless he's half forced to fight, I think he's just going to try to back off and, and hit, hit as he comes at him. There's some good damage there. Misses the orb as well in order to continue just railing him at range. And there we go. With less than 30 seconds left, Pitt finally completes the trade. But he's again found very low. And he wasn't the greatest at being able to scavenge around and get some of these health pickups this time. This time, however, gets himself the uh, gets himself the full armor. It was not able to steal away the mega health. But look at this. Bounce his opponent down below. He's got him trapped. He can take an advantage here. But he's got to be careful. This is an aggressive Four. fight. He's just standing on top of the eye. Okay. I got to gotta criticize a little bit here, the weapon selection by Pitt, you know, dropping down with the rail. He had his guy on the ropes, and I'm sure he knows it. I mean, after the, the rocket rail combo, he had high position on the eyeball. He was looking to get that finishing rail. You can see him lining up. First of all, standing on top of the eyeball, very easy to hit. You saw Astro Boy kind of lined him up there. But on top of that, the angle should be on. All he needed to do is switch probably to any other weapon but the rail gun. He probably gets the kill there. Well. Hit. And granted, I know what he's thinking. You know, I just get that one more rail hit, you know, and, and, that's, a, and that's a wrap. Yeah. yeah, but, you know, sometimes it's better to take that sure thing, the, the higher percentage stuff. And we actually saw Carnage do that earlier. Remember, he hit those three rails in a row, and he swapped the machine gun. Pitt's gonna find himself cornered again. This clutch is not going anywhere. Unfortunately, 10 HP is able to absorb a lot of the damage. But still, thankfully, that mega health pickups there, that just saved his life. Yeah. 
That was that, that timing worked out very luckily for Pitt. I'm sure he saw that. Have, <laughs> he was thank goodness that thing is there right now because <laughs> he really needed it. Pitt. Certainly here, Astro Boy swinging back in, but again, LG just dominating Pitt on this clutch up for There's not a whole lot that he can do to negate that unless he has the shield ready to go. So Fox makes it so easy just to trace him down. And now, a close up fight. Pitt could actually win this now, forces the stealth pop. He knows he's got the health spawn. It's coming up in a second, but oh, less than a second away from it spawning. Astro Boy does move in and he gets the kill. Yeah, very aggressive play by Astro Boy. He knew he knew he was low and came in with the uh, ghost walk. And wow, just following up again to see these guys following up some, with a kill with another kill within seconds sometimes. So Astro Boy has both the power ups. It's brought it down to a 3v1. He could take this the distance again, go all the way up to round five. Pitt, so, so much struggle with closing out, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you know, wow. Uh, considering where we started in this match and where we are now, um, yeah, I wonder, you know, I know he looks he looks cool, he looks controlled up there. I wonder what he's thinking a little bit right now going through Pitt's mind because um, he's kind of letting this match get away from him a little bit, you know, and... Uh, I really felt he could have closed this out a while ago, um, so it's interesting to see, you know, pressure and, and things like that getting his advantage. Again, Astro Boy not making it easy. He's also running some good routes, doing some great job on item management. I have a feeling that he has an advantage here again uh, with item management on the map, as we pointed out early in the first map, that, that could come back to haunt Pit a little bit. I think it might be right now. He uh, changed up his initial spawn, too. He's gone with a Ranger now. He's no longer going for the initial clutch spawn. He knows how inefficient that's been for the most part. Yeah, I think Astro Boy, that's a good recognition. I mentioned that earlier, and I'm glad he took my advice. Now that he's not listening to me, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad he decided to change it up like that. I didn't think the clutch was doing many favors early on. Very few times. Astro Boy now playing things back a little bit here. He's taking things a bit more passively. He's not as uh, eager to kind of dive into a fight versus Pit anymore since he's not on that initial clutch spawn and it makes it very easy for him to connect on some of that initial damage. So he's kind of hanging back a little bit more and he's playing a more spammy play style as he does try to, try to get some initial damage on the Pit, hoping that he'll get aggressive on Astro Boy. Got a nice opportunity to find a rail shot there, too. There's the first connection for him over to the LG. Again, we see how confident he's been with that. Pit just under 50 HP right now, and he's got a little bit of armor to play off. Just still 10 seconds away from the spawn, too. So if Astro Boy wants to chase this, you can find him downstairs. He can steal the armor away, but he would lose the mega health in the process because the timers are still neck and neck. I tell you what, I keep saying, if Astro Boy's high ping lightning gun, kind of scared to see what this guy looks like on land. I mean, jeez. Yeah, he's been a force to be reckoned with so far. Time. He does have to bail out of the fight. It's a bit of an ill-advised engagement. He's trying to drop right down immediately from the jump pad pit. But it didn't work out. So now he's going to be looking for rail shots up close. Maybe not the best range to play this all, but he doesn't have a whole lot of rockets left over. Forced to pop off the stealth and tries to go back in, but Pitt holds on. He gets the rocket shot, knocks out Astro Boy, and gets the initial advantage in this round. Yeah, Astro Boy got a kill like that last last round, and I think Pitt was not having any of it this time. I think I think Astro Boy followed him several times actually in their previous rounds and, and with the ghost walk in critical situations, right? It was a little risky, and I think Pitt was a little more ready for it this time. Pitt is continuing to hold on to his lead here right now as he hits some nice rail shots. Go for another one too, as long as he's hit by the 90, he could kill Astro Boy right there. And it's a good thing he got hit by the 80, but the problem is he backed up too soon instead of continuing the fight and trying to take down Astro Boy. He fell back, thought that Astro Boy wasn't going to chase him, and that fatal mistake led to a train. Yeah, he turned his back, he turned his back to his opponent there. And wow, uh, wow, just what a turnaround. What is this turn into? I'm a little shocked right now. I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little shell shocked. That's right his potential right on. here. Look at this pit. He's getting aggressive. He's going to try to chase down the kill onto Pit, but Pit, he's low. Astro Boy's still in a good situation. And with that, it's going to be Astro Boy that takes it two to one. And the player from Australia is going to be moving on to QuakeCon. <sighs> wow. Um, just heartbreaking for Pit, really. Uh, hard fought. I really, you know, he is a talent. He really is. Um, credit to Astro Boy again for overcoming the high ping. Um, it didn't start out well for him. He lost that first match. Um, he was down in the second map. Uh, you know, it came back, stuck.